Filippo, it's been a, a busy week for the club, but ultimately two very disappointing results on the pitch. Yes, which we were not used to, because until now, since I arrived, we did really, really well. Uh, we were the judge of our destiny until now. So when we decide to rotate, when we decide to... so. But the last two, two games, they were a little bit a disappointment. Um, especially the last one, to be honest. The Molde one was a disappointment for me because the situation outside the pitch wasn't clear for me. I couldn't coach, I couldn't talk, blah, blah, blah. We were not prepared for this situation. And now we are, so this is clear. But the water for game was a little bit disappoint a disappointed situation because we were not ferocious, because we are distract, because uh, we play five games in the last 14 days. And, and this sometimes, even if we manage the game, we control the game completely. But probably we, we were not ferocious, which we talk about it with the team. I think, I think now we have better understanding and uh, we, we're going to go back in our warrior mode. Yeah, you brought that up the other night, um, not being able to coach the team properly. Obviously, you're not allowed in the technical area because you don't hold the pro license. You said you suffered. You're a manager. That you're always very much involved with the team. Do you think that affected your team the other night against Malden? Yes. Yes, yes, it did. Because it's not only the fact that I, w I was not to the sideline to give coaching points. It also... We were not pre prepared with the chain of command, right? To to for, with the informations that I was giving to my assistants. Um, also, the situation to the to, with the bench was really complicated because from the bench, you, if you see it, you can't see the game because the board. So it was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and then, of course, you can be late in some decision on on making substitution. And one minute can cost you a game. So we were a little bit not fast on understanding this situation. This cost us probably, I don't want to say they cost us the game, but they create problems. Have you sorted those problems out now for Thursday night against Arsenal? Yeah. Yes, we did. Because we, now we are prepared. And uh, we know exactly how to manage the situation. And then the Emirates will be easier because the, the bench are really close to the to the line and we can coach from there and but now we know so now it's going to be really easier the situation but uh, i don't know if the easier situation for the bench is gonna bring us an advantage against arsenal coming into that molde game you said that you couldn't prepare the best obviously we spoke about the congestion of fixtures you had so many games in the run-up to that molde game has this week been slightly easier a little bit better because we have two days to prepare, right? So we have, um, we recovered yesterday. So today we start the preparation and tomorrow we're going to finish the preparation at Emirate. At least we have two days instead to have one all the time, which is not good at all. Um, I am a coach that I need to prepare. I need to plan. Um, but I am adapting even to this situation. Listen, I hope to have the same situation next year. Uh, we will be more prepared. It means that we have many important games to play. You were the only team that were playing in Europe last week that also had to play on the Monday night in your own league. Do you think that there's more that the league here could do for you? But not for, not for us, for Dundalk. I think they, from next year, I hope that the fixtures, they're going to be uh, more, you know, more direct to help the teams that play in Europe because playing Europe for this country, for any country, is important to publicize the league, to have ranking points, to have many things. So I think this is something where the league should take a look and I hope next year is going to be a little bit different. Uh, just to do better for, for, for anything, for everyone. It's, it's just, I think, is the, the best thing to do. 
how are the players feeling now? You you made a lot of changes at the weekend. You had to make a lot of changes on the Monday night before the Malda game. Do you feel like you've a full squad to pick from now, or are you still kind of chopping and changing, seeing who's fit now, who's who needs a bit of a rest? Well, it, there are contingency that people don't know, you know, outside the squad. So sometimes I play players because it's a must. Sometimes I play because they have to other players they have to rest. Sometimes. And, and also, I have to be honest, like I said, now I have all the players that they are competitive. The only thing is a lot of changes sometimes take away the balance in the team, the connections, right? And I understand that. But if a player can't play because he's injury, how I can play him? If, I play, if a player needs to get out from the field because he's injury, it, it's injury. That's it. I play another. I'm not going to complain. I mean, it. it is this the situation? And I don't understand why it's so difficult to understand that we need to rotate because it's natural. Players are human beings. They need to rest or, or maybe they are injured. So I can't start them. It's easy. Can you believe as somebody who's come from the outside to this league, oh, you come from Italy, you come from America, can you believe that things are the way they are with our league, that you have to play on the Monday night, that when you ask for games like the KI game, you ask for the game beforehand to maybe be pushed aside, that our league says no, that you don't get the support that you need from them? Yeah, I want to use a word that is really famous here. Yes, I got frustrated. The frustration is big. Uh, but then uh, I am a man that respects rules. So if this is the way, we have to go by rules. If the Federation decide this, okay, we do what the Federation ask. Even then, maybe they have their reason. I just hope that this can, this schedule, these fixtures, we will find a way next year to be a little bit more flexible help the team that they play. They play in Europe because I saw some flexibility even inside the league, right? Some team have some, some kind of games, you know, postponed for different reasons, which we had not. And it was not our fault. The Derry game, for me, they postponed the game, but not for us, for them. And we had to play the game just three days before, and an important game just three days before Molde. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, we should be able to postpone the, the Derry game. That will give us better preparation. That will give us different way. And but listen, it, it, I, I don't want to complain. I don't like complainer. I don't like complain. It's just I want to I want to just make understand everyone what is the reality. And and I hope that our situation show to everyone that should be a change next year. Going back to that game against Molde, do you have any regrets in the way that you approached the second half? Well, we had really good talk in, in the locker room at halftime where we realized what was the situation and what the situation could be. We had, unfortunately, Greg Slogger that was in an in a, in a injury mode and uh, we didn't know, we had in mind the change to do, but because Greg was like that, this change came late because the idea was to change other, another player, but then Greg was like that. So this is slowed down us. Uh, but anyway, I, sh I should do something before. This is my regret. And uh, the only excuse that I have is that I couldn't, the out chain of command wasn't fluid. And this creates us during the game problems and uh, affect our game. Maybe if I change, maybe it's better. Maybe if I change, maybe we, we can lose the game 4-5-1. Or maybe if I change, we can tie or win. We don't know, really. But uh, this was my, my regret, just to have some subst substitution before. Looking ahead now, how do you approach a game like the Arsenal game? I mean, no disrespect to any of the teams you face week in, week out in the League of Ireland, but this is going to be a bigger test than what you're used to. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going we're gonna to look to this game with realism. 
We're going to prepare the game professionally, analyzing the opponent like we do always, and we want to do well, but our mind is on Sunday. I mean, we're going to be, we know that our objective is the third position in the league. Of course, we go there to perform and we're going to create, and we want to give them some disappointment. And we want to make them uncomfortable and we want to for sure and i think we're going to perform because when you go to play games that you have nothing to lose it's easier when you have the complete underdog you know uh, but when you are it's easy to be the underdog it's easier when you prepare um so it, it's going to be uh, just you know uh, a game in preparation of st patrick can we say that yeah, you can definitely say it, but is it a worry for you if your players aren't completely focused on this game that things would go very wrong? No, no, no. The players are super focused. <laughs> that was my problem. The players are focused to this game. It's one month that they are focused on this game. <laughs> I have to try to balance the focus. The focus in this game will be, trust me, a player that go to play to Emirates is going to be focused and perform. Trust me. I don't need even to talk with them. The, the, the problem is when you have to motivate players, when they, when they have to play in a league, when they have to play different kind of game. That's the problem. Uh, the way that, we, that, listen, I can give you just a, a, a little picture. The way that we defend set pieces against Molde was brilliant. The way that we defend corner kicks was brilliant against a player that was kicking balls that were unbelievable difficult to defend. The way that we defend free kicks with Waterford was different. We were less ferocious. It, it's details, right? If we use the same ferocity, there is no way they can score to us. No way. But these things are naturally existing in uh, even high level athletes is the is the kind of in focus that you have inside the preparation you can leave something out when the game for you is less important right so work on this kind of focus with with the professional players is the key always so you think maybe on sunday what happened against waterford is a result of so much build up to Thursday night against Molde, all of the players being focused on that and it draining so much of their energy and so much of their focus that maybe Sunday rolled around and they weren't 100% as much as they usually would have been for a league game focused on that. Yeah, we missed the ferocity, but it was subcons, subcons, you know, it's like you don't do on purpose. You think that you prepare, but you don't. It's like, it, 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 it's, it's this, it's just this. In between these two, Molden and Arsenal, and then before Derry, where we really perform, especially the first half, and, you know, we, we had, but to keep really high, this kind of, it's complicated. Well, even with Waterford, we manage the game as we want. If we score a goal, probably will be, will be a home run then. You understand? It's like we control the game. We, I can't say, oh, we didn't perform. Ball possession was around 70% for us. Like, it's just the ferocity on finishing, the ferocity on the fan, the couple of balls the water for create. Is this. Is this. And, and, uh, and in, is, is where we have to improve, is where we spoke with the players. We have to be back in our Warriors mode. Respect everyone, but fight everyone. Like, fight. And, um, and I think we're going to do it again, for sure. Filippo, I know lots of people growing up in Ireland, they look to the Premier League every weekend. Uh, was it the same for you growing up in Italy? Do you have memories of watching Arsenal? No, really. I was watching it, the Italian, Italian, league. Italian League, for sure. The Italian League, when I was growing up, was, one, was probably the best in the world. So the, the English football was a little bit you know, behind. But still, listen... Right now, the Premier League is the best league in the world. So now, now I'm looking a lot to the Premier League. There is a lot to learn. Uh, many coaches from all over the world with different styles, they are there. Um, different approach on soccer. It's, it's a fantastic league to watch now. 
we spoke last week about just how much of a journey you've been on and how your dream of being involved in football at this level is now your reality. But leading a team at the Emirates against such a top quality side, Premier League opposition, that has to be a, a, a pinch me moment. <laughs> yes, it is. It is, but um, listen, uh, maybe I was enjoying it more if I wasn't in this situation, if we were not in, in the situation that we are with the league. Uh, uh, so now it's about objectives, right? So when they hired me was go to the group stage. This was the only thing that they asked me, was the focus. They, nobody talked to me about the league, right? So now after this, you say, okay, well, now we have another objective that is qualify in Europe for next year. Uh, when we do that, then we're going to probably enjoy more even the group stages. Probably we're going to enjoy more. Yeah. And we're going to have better preparation. Better, for sure. For sure. But now we have to be realistic and it, uh, objective by objective. And, uh, and, and I'm really motivated and focused now in what I'm saying to you. I'm motivated to get the, the third position. This is my, is my target. Of course I want to perform with Arsenal. Uh, all the eyes in the world are on us. If we do well, it's going to go back to coaches, to players, you know, even for career, etc. But listen, uh, for me now, it's, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but it's sympathetic. I think has some of this come from, obviously, you knew for a long time that your, your league title was gone. You weren't going to be champions anymore. But this weekend, seeing it confirmed, did that hurt you and the players? Uh, say it again? Which weekend? This, this weekend, when Bohemians lost to Finn Harps, it was confirmed that Shamrock Rovers had won the league. Did that hurt you and the players, just knowing com confirmation that they were champions? No, no, no. No, the reality was the Shamrock was the better team this year and they won. Uh, I think when I arrived, they had already 10, 12 points more than us. It wasn't, I think, it was really complicated to think on the, on the league unless we were going out of the Europa League stage and then you focus on league. Then maybe you can think, okay, now we win every game and then we can, we can bother them until the end. Right, like just bother, but but advantage that they had was was too big, was too late. Okay, last last question then. The the lineup against Malda, uh, your your starting eleven was quite experienced. A number of players who played in uh, the last Europa League run uh, for Dundalk in twenty sixteen. Can we expect something similar against Arsenal? A more defensive lineup and a lot of experience. Well, I, I usually play the players that I think they are more fit, they are, they are in a better condition, and they, they can do well in the game that we play. I don't really look to the age, I don't really look to the experience, to be honest. It's a natural mix that is coming to our team. But no, for me, what makes the difference for us, for me and Giuseppe, is what the pitch said during the week. Who's doing well? who is fit, who is prepared, who can perform at high level. That's it. This is the only method of judgment that we have.